Hi, this is Mike Green, otherwise known as Dodgy from the Lightwave Forums, and I'm just going to run you through how collision works in a lot of 3D packages in terms of sort of cloth objects and other things like that. Um, I have seen a lot of um, comments on the Lightwave Forum saying collision doesn't work, that we can't get this to work, um, and a lot of the time it's down to those people not necessarily understanding what's going on and just using the kind of defaults that um, happen when you apply cloth to an object, a base object. Um, and what happens is these points, um, collision is done between points and polygons. So your points in your cloth object will collide with your polygons in your collision object. Uh, if you imagine this is a leg or whatever, and this is sort of cloth to go around that leg. Um, if by default the um, setting for collision is the collision offset is one centimeter. Now that basically tells Lightwave how close the points should get to the polygon before colliding with them. And in this case this uh, is quite a large object by comparison and these squares are about 10 centimeters across. So if we run the simulation you can see that these points here all collide like that but these points here have nothing to collide with in that sort of area until they sort of swing down and hit the side of the block. Now uh, by increasing the collision offset say to 10 centimeters which is roughly the distance between them. You can see the collision offset lines here. Um, you can get it to not penetrate the block like it does, like it, it did before. Um, and that's because it's going, oh, this point now is 10 centimeters from this block. Uh, this point is 10 centimeters from this block. So all that collision offset does is um, make sure it's further away so that it doesn't interpenetrate. Of course, you don't really want that when you're working with cloth objects. You want it to be fairly close. But there's a trade-off. Um, if you want it to be fairly close, then you need to reduce the collision offset, say, say to 3. Um, but you also need to increase the complexity of perhaps your collision object or your cloth object. In this case, I'm going to increase the complexity of the cloth object. So this is uh, you can see a much finer object. Again, you can see all the collision offsets. Um, and it means that when it collides, you get a much closer fit to your object uh, at a much, say, I'll say much, it's um, down to how long, how long you're willing to wait, but it takes a bit longer because there's more points to calculate with the polygons. Uh, and this is the true of um, most 3D packages, how it does it. So in uh, the case of mod XSI, you can see here it's got the same problem. Because the collision offset is set very small, your cloth object falls a bit through. You're, you Basically your points are colliding with it, but the polygons between them have no way of wrapping around uh, the settings that around the block. Uh, and if we just look at the uh, settings, they have a push length setting, so if we just bump that up, go back to the camera, and press play, and you can see it's now pushing it so that it's not quite going into the into the, the mesh. So that's, it's pretty much the same as the light wave collision and the cloth in um, XSI is quite close to the uh, light wave class in terms of settings and setup. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's basically the different, the how the collision works. Um, and uh, that is why you usually want to work with a separate object which is your cloth object and then 
um, have your actual modeled mesh with say your buttons on or you know your seams and all that kind of stuff have that as the child of the cloth mesh so that uh, you can use um, the uh, function FX Metalink which will basically deform the high res mesh using the low res mesh um, that way you can um, increase or decrease the polygon count in your cloth object without affecting your modeled mesh um, and if you say have a problem area in your cloth object like around an elbow or a shoulder you can just subdivide the polygons in that mesh around that particular area run the simulation again and you haven't had to change your modeled mesh um, so I'll show that function in a, another video but this is as I say this is how the uh, collision best works so if you want really fine um, collision we go up again say 5 and go cloth effects and go maybe 1 because it's going a little bit slower again to calculate because there's a lot um, four times as many polygons I think but you're getting a much finer um, collision with your block Once it's calculated, of course, it plays back pretty quickly. I hope this has given you some insight into perhaps why your collision isn't working as well as you would want it to. Um, and uh, I hope this helps you out when you're doing some dynamics.